Well, good morning. It's early October and our whitetails are in what we call the October lull. So they're hanging out close to bedding and not really moving too far. So we tend to kind of leave them alone right now just because none of our stand locations are uh, close enough to bedding and we really want to push them out before the rut. So Zay and I are out here this morning doing some squirrel hunting. This is a property that we historically have not had good luck on for whitetails. So just a small patch of timber that we hunted opening day this year and saw way too many squirrels. So perfect opportunity for the first episode of Focused on the Hunt, which is gonna be a YouTube show series that kind of gives the cameraman's point of view and shows what we go through on a hunt, after the hunt, and then uh, with an upcoming podcast coming that'll get other videographers and outdoor photographers involved and kind of make a platform for us, so. Shack Park. <laughs> I know. I smoked him from that fall. 
That's crazy that I didn't even look like you hit him. No, but he died. We'll go grab him and bring him back. Let's check him out. What I was talking about, like, it can go from nothing to all of a sudden you've got to make sure that you're on the animal, the hunter on the animal, all at the same time. He's going to grab him right now, but we just talked about packing up and uh, we're just walking through, and I happened to, happen to catch a glimpse of one on the ground. to try to bite him or something. See, this is what's going to be cool about this new channel is, is you guys are going to get to see what I'm doing and how I'm getting the shots. But you're also going to get to see the other portion of it. Here he comes. Nuts. Huh? That was nuts. Dude, I want to shot that thing. I can't believe you ran up on, like I didn't even think you hit him. No, I must have, I mean, hit him right in the heart. That's wild. I've never seen that before. That's a heck of a shot with that 22. How, uh, that was like Red a, dot. <laughs> I don't know how far that was. That was. Uh, that's probably. Oh, at least 40, 45 yards. Yeah. That was a... I can't believe I hit it. <laughs> they were in the tree and I was she chasing was, it. You was just... walking over there. <laughs> I just walked And it just fell. Like you look back and be like, what, <laughs> what did it do? Try to bite you or something? Yeah, so it was still alive and I tried to like pick it up and it was like, <laughs> I was like, mm mm. <laughs> actually kicked it after it tried to eat me. That's funny. Yeah, that was a heck of a shot. That was crazy. Alright, now that I know I can shoot 50 yards with this, I need to go hit things. We're good. I shouldn't have walked up close on squirrels. Let's see what other shots I can pull off. Five shots left. Let's go see what we can do. I just killed my first ever gray squirrel. <laughs> A rare? Dude, this thing looks weird. It's like a... I guess it's a fox squirrel. But...
It's like some kind of hybrid. No kidding. That's gotta be like a hybrid, like a fox squirrel and gray squirrel. <laughs> I've just, I've never seen anything like that before. We were walking up through the woods here. We just got done looking at a rug and Jake was taking pictures of me and just the rub and everything. And I happened to see this squirrel up here hopping around and I thought he was a gray squirrel. And I ended up posting up on a tree. He didn't have time to get the video rolling on the squirrel. And it comes up on the side of this tree over here on the stump and I ended up smoking it, walked up to it and the squirrel looks like some type of hybrid. It looks like a gray squirrel but it's kind of looks like a fox squirrel mixed with a gray squirrel. I'm not sure. I've never seen anything like that before. That just happened so quick. We seen him up here hopping around eating some nuts and then uh, he came over here, he started coming at us, and I had a perfect shot, so we didn't have time to get the camera on him. That's just a crazy looking squirrel. That'd know. be one you'd mount. Yeah. I would. If you got that thing mounted, like if you sprawled out corn up a limb, you get all this colors in there. Like he's brown on the sides, but he's all gray on the back. And then he's very white on the yeah. bottom. We'll get pictures of him and stuff when we're done. <laughs> I don't know what that is. It's definitely That's probably the mission. coolest squirrel I've ever seen. Huh? That's probably the coolest squirrel oh, I've ever I seen. Oh, I know. He's got like, it's like mixed. Unless he's got some type of disease or just young. He looks like he's got like a, the tail and the back of a gray squirrel, but the rest of his body. Looks like a fox squirrel or a red And he's not like a... He's like a big gray squirrel and a small fox squirrel. Like he's like that perfect mixture of both of them. I guarantee that's what you got. That's weird. I've never seen I don't that. even know if they, they mix like that, but I, I don't, and I don't know if there's like color phase squirrels or what there is, but which I know there's like white squirrels and black squirrels and stuff like that, but I, it looks healthy, so I don't think he's got a disease. <laughs> I don't know, that's pretty fancy. I have to find another one. Before you put that up, I want to get pictures of you before it gets all tangled and mangled. Like, look at the comparison. Here, hold on. Let me get down here. It is wild. The craziest part is the fox squirrel is a female and this is a male. And the female fox squirrel is bigger so I know this is not. I, I don't know how. I, I'm not too sure. Alright, well. We decided that uh, that was going to be it for today, so now the last part of everything is always taking the pictures at the end, so what you want to do is just make sure that when you set them up, let's see here, kind of want us to be able to see their colors here. Yeah. So there's, there's one, there's the other. I don't know. It's pretty crazy looking though. Okay. So, I'm using a Sony A6500. And right now, my ISOs are way too high. So right now, I'm just trying to focus on just the, the squirrels. Just the subject. Um, change my white balance here. Right now, I'm on shady because I was on the inside. I'll do daylight here and doing spot focus. That looks good. And then, see 
one more, get closer to the ground. That's good. Now we're gonna get the the hunter in the frame, but we're just gonna keep the the squirrels in focus. Just like that. Perfect. Then we'll take some horizontal. Now I'm using a 50 millimeter prime and on my aperture f2.0. So because I'm using a prime, I can't even see. There we go. Do more this way. Then we'll do some with the hunter in focus. Oh yeah. And then we're going to do some, once you pick them up by the tail, hold them straight out ahead of you. You know what I'm saying? So, now put them, just put them, hold them together in one hand. There you go. And hold them straight out. Let me get my exposure a little better here. get some special pictures of this special squirrel yeah so we get rid of him we'll probably end up doing just like that Get out of my own son here. Break off these shades. And... All right. I think we're good now, dude. Right. Do you want to do some of you holding your this squirrel a little bit more than what we did out there? You all right? Yeah. Okay. Well, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Um, not as much action as we would have liked. Uh, there's a ton of squirrels in there, but, you know, when you take on the responsibility and of, of filming a hunt, there's a lot that goes into that. Um, you know, you could get um, some handy cams. That's what Zane uses and, and get some great great footage uh, you know if you're just starting out you don't have to worry about the different lenses and different settings that that I do on mine um, but we it's just it, it's hard especially with squirrels you know making sure that the the cameraman's on it and you know being the cameraman making sure that you're you're on the animal that everything's in focus all your settings are right um, making sure the hunter knows that you're on the animal and that they don't waste any time uh, with squirrels man it's just you've got you've got seconds a lot of times and you know being able to to set your settings and get all your settings right or at least close um, at the beginning makes a world of difference so when I would sit down in a new location um, I would go ahead and get my settings close. Um, obviously, it, it could potentially change, you know, if you get sun comes over or um, goes away or whatever it might be, uh, you can adjust your settings, but it's not as dramatic as 
is if you were to just flip on the camera and and uh, have to to set everything so that's a little bit of a tip but what we want to do with this channel a lot is is not necessarily just the filming but mainly actually photography you know there's a lot of guys that that go out into the field and just to photograph and what i think would be fun that we're going to do and that i've not really seen anybody else do is instead of going in and filming a hunt photograph the hunt and get pictures of of all the different things that you come across or experience or see and you know at the end of the hunt make a little montage of them and being able to have pictures like that to to hold on to as memories you know forever would be would be awesome so i know that's one of the things that got me into photography and is uh is all the memories that we have as kids you know hunting with our dads or or hunting with just each other we don't don't have a lot of pictures of that so that's why i decided to pick up a camera you know for my kids and and, and dad now and, and brothers and trying to capture those moments because if in a video it's fun to watch you know but trying to hold on to videos and things is, is tough so if i can get you know a bunch of good pictures throughout the hunt you know photos to remember the hunt by that's something we could print out and you know have forever so but there will be a lot of things going on with this channel that will be pretty cool be fun uh, get other photographers and videographers involved and you know just kind of create a platform and a spotlight for those kind of people that you know spend a lot of their their time behind the camera they don't ever get any screen time and you know it's without the the camera guy um there wouldn't be any footage there wouldn't be any pictures things like that so that's what uh focused on the hunt is going to be all about it's giving the camera guys and women their spotlight and uh and having fun with it so we're gonna do a lot of fun stuff um maybe some some daily vlogs here and there but it's gonna be fun so hope you guys stick around if you haven't uh like the channel please do so hit the notification bell that way you get notified when we upload a new video um check us out on facebook uh facebook is brand new so we're working hard on trying to get that up and running as long as the instagram so i don't know i'm excited about it i think it's going to be a good thing and hope you guys enjoy it too